with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord peter approached jesus and asked him lord if my brother sins against me how often must i forgive him as many as seven times jesus answered I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts on his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owned him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Move with compassion, the master of the servant of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what is what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgive you your entire death because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I have pity on you? Then, in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To many of us, to forgive is not easy. To forgive is hard. But the challenge of the gospel for today is more harder. Why? Because it's not just one-time forgiveness. Paulit, ulit, lagi. Hindi lang isang beses, hindi lang dalawang beses, but rather walang bilang, walang number. Ano ang challenge? Pag may nagkamali sa iyo, patawarin mo. That's all. Without counting. So that is harder. Hindi siya ganun kasimple. Hindi siya ganun kadali. Yung yung magpatawad ng isa, mahirap na. Ay ano pa kaya yung paulit-ulit? And we have the saying this way, 
One is enough. Two is too much. Pag tumatlo ka, yari ka na. But by saying that, what is the invitation of God for us? By saying, you have to forgive without numbers. What is God inviting us? Where God is inviting us into that challenge, He is inviting us to have a good life. God is inviting us to have a good life. When we know how to forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive, God is inviting us to have a good life. Because we know, I hope you know, that the benefit of forgiving is not so much on the other person, but to those person who forgives. Doon sa mga nagpapatawad, doon mas malaki ang benefits ng pagpapatawad. Minsan, iniisip natin lagi na maswerte yung tao at pinatawad. Ano? Pero hindi. When you, when you know how to forgive, kapag ka marunong ka magpatawad, mas mapalad ka. Kasi mas magaan ang iyong buhay. Mas masaya ang iyong buhay. Ang buhay mo'y buhay na walang dala-dala. Walang baggages. So, makapamumuhay ka ng masaya at maligaya. So that challenge to forgive again and again and again is actually an invitation of God to live a good life. 